What's good NCAA fam? I uploaded a couple of Madden videos because the game just come out and you guys are out there acting like I forgot this game existed. Like I forgot about the Eagles. You tell me. Well anyway, welcome back to the NCAA 14 Alaska Golden Eagles Team Builder Dynasty. I haven't played this game in so long, I don't even remember where we're up to. I think this is the brand new season. Yeah, it is. Zero and zero. This is what our recruiting class is going to look like. We have Steve Walker, Marcus Evans, Pat Burks, AJ Dunn, Gerald Richards. We already have the lead on Steve Walker, keep that in mind. He is a 80 overall Juco. 96 speed, 90 acceleration, good route running, good catching, fantastic man coverage, fantastic zone, fantastic press. This guy can play DB and with that speed, he's going to be deadly. Then of course, you have Marcus Evans, 95-95. Dude is an absolute monster. And then offensive line, how could you forget about that? This is the debut of 91 overall Kyle Arnold. The debut of Jim Gilliam at running back. 90 overall Copeland and Wills. We also have Rivero and then we Red shirt of the six foot seven guy, so he will not be playing this season. I wanted to use him more than anybody, Brian Coleman. We already have too many good wide receivers. Wait until Roy Wills graduates this year, and then we can move on to that. So with that being said, fellas, brand new season means more storyline. Alaska will be coming back in terms of uploads. I need you guys to drop your storylines down in the comment section of this video. Just bear with me for this, because Madden 19 is kind of my main priority right now. I'm just dropping this for you NCAA fans out there. That being said, fellas, let's go kick Auburn's butt. You guys really thought I forgot about Alaska, man. What the f*** is wrong with you guys? I wonder if Drew came to visit. Is NTE in the crowd anywhere? Let me know if you can see him. Oh, there he is up there. I see you, Drew. What's up, man? Let's go, Rivero. Oh, this is about to be such a fun season. We started at 23rd as well. I didn't even say that in the intro. But... Carl Arnold with the juke move. He's taken me. This guy is a glitch. There goes Circle. Oh, let's go, Wheels, with that 99 catching. And while we're at it, let's test out our brand new running back, Jim Gilliam. I like the fact he's wearing number 27. That's a nice number. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's actually flip this out to the left, because big boy over here with the star. Got to avoid the star players. As I run into <laughs> another star player. Oh, man, coverage. Please, keep doing that. Step back, cheese. Oh, let's go, Copeland! That's what I'm talking about, baby! What a way to open up the season! Then with a Barry Copeland step back to- Oh, there's Drew! Third and five. I got Gene over here. He's our freshman, I believe, right? Running back. Come on, boys. Oh, geez. Not this cheese. Gonna go back to the running back. 110 bazillion percent. I'm just kidding. Oh, they actually did. Rip. But I feel like Auburn's one of those, like, yeah, just run-heavy teams. Well, he's gonna go... Bomb it deep? Is that what the quarterback's doing here? Oh, wow. I can't believe we just gave up <laughs> such a big play from the running back. Dude, don't try that stuff twice in a row, mate. It's not going to work. Back to the running back again. He's going to carry him across for a first down. <laughs> Why? Wait, Copeland? Copeland's playing... That wasn't Barry, right? Ooh, Rivero on the kick return. It was bloody Copeland, because there he is right there. Stay up. So wait, we officially have an Iron Man athlete out there on the field. Copeland's about to dominate on offense and then come out and dominate on defense. Oh my goodness. I can't keep up with this team. Nice little dot to wheels. You ain't not going to drop that. Wait, are these guys really going to do this? Oh, man. They're just digging their own grave, as far as I'm concerned. Bitch. Oops, I... <coughs> Alright boys, we need a big third down completion. We're going to fake off the handoff to Rivero. That should leave our tight end Whitaker and Copeland possibly wide open here. And we're going to get sacked before we get a chance to unload the ball. I've, why do I feel like Auburn is going to fake this pun? It's just, this guy looks like Bo Jackson. No, nah, he's going to punt it. Legit. All right. Cool, cool. Let's go, Jim. Oh, there we go. Big boy run, mate. You've got big shoes to fill. This man's about to eat out here, Jim Gilliam. We can get the blocks. O-line should be... I don't know what this guy's strengths are. I'm pretty sure he's not fast. Take that all day. 
Good catch by Rivero. I've never tried this before in uh, NCAA. Quarterback draw. <laughs> We're never doing that again. Oh, man coverage again. Major yikes. Step back. See, Roy Wills just doesn't have it like Barry Copeland does. Oh, there we go. Heath, that's the backup running back. Oh, nice juke. Oh, let's go, Kyle. Slide, slide, slide. Woo. Oh, there we go. Now Jim's got a little bit of a turn in there. Oh, we had Copeland there for a second. Damn it. No, no, no. Screw the field goal. What else we got, coach? Rivero, one of the fastest players on the team. I kind of wish it was Copeland doing this. Nah, screw it. No! Rivero! Bad play call. That would have been so cool if we got that. At least we have him on the two-yard line, but this could work against us if they decide to pass it. Oh, they just did the same thing that we did. All right, Auburn, calm down. All right, we get pancakes. All right, I'll take it. These guys are killing us through the air. Not really on the ground, but still. He's going to take off gonna break a multitude of tackles before sliding down oh let's go baby on the sack they missed the field goal we're gonna try our best to maybe get some kind of big connection here yeah we go to foster at tight end oh my goodness you wouldn't think it'd be this close between an 80 and a 90 overall but I mean we're doing our we're doing our best out there that's for sure. Option play? Come on, mate. We can't have everybody getting smashed by this quarterback. That just goes to show how much growing this team has to do. He's going to take off again? Ooh, you didn't want that work from Gene. Uh, stop running the ball, please. Come on. Back to the running back! Damn it, man! We cannot stop their run game to save our life. I've tried every single defense. Watch this. They're both tired. Let's just go back to the running back. Bad user. <laughs> Bad, terrible user by me. We are nowhere out of this game yet. We're only down by two touchdowns. That's nothing in NCAA. You can score that in like three minutes. Nice little juke move. Get the blocks. Rivero getting us back. Easy work, man. We just got to play our game right here. Wow. Ooh. Bop. Step back cheese again. Step back cheese. Oh. oh, we got him again. Copeland is the GOAT. Tell me he's not the greatest player in Alaska history, mate. Let's go with the blocks. Good job by Gilliam. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, bro. If we can just lock down Auburn's run game, they better be careful. Wait, what? Wills was intercepted by Jeffrey Prince. No. And then Auburn just scored. What is going on? Miller returns at 90. Well, I guess we're even now, right? So for those of you who don't know, I simulate a couple of plays in between drives just to add a little bit of a realistic factor. If I played the entire game, we'd win the game guaranteed. It sucks that we scored, but it's good to see that Auburn retaliated. So pretty much where we just were in terms of the game, except we have possession. Ooh, they were screaming at us across the middle. I don't know if our new tight end is going to be fast enough to be able to get open. At least we have wheels on the little drag route just in case. There we go. Oh, Gilliam is such a beast for a freshman. Oh, look at the blocks! That is the first time I've seen Alaska get some good blocks out there. <laughs> I hope this is the year we finally have a run game. That would be awesome. Oh, look at the blocks again. And that is he in the end zone, the backup. We might have a two-headed dragon here. Think about it. Gilliam comes out, has a couple of big plays, goes off. Heath comes in, who's pretty much the same overall, and just continues what Gilliam started, you know? Oh. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. Brady. There we go. Come on, boys. Lock up, man. Forget the run game. They're not going to pass it. They never pass it. Oh, dude, it's so AIDS to verse. There we go. Throw it. Like, don't audible to a run. Coach just caught a pass, mate. Pass it. 
No, back to the run again. Good stop. Are we finally going to see Auburn pass the ball? Another audible is coming in. It is finally going to be a passing play. The score, man. Fourth and one. Auburn is going to take their field goal. We can do this, boys. We've done this a million times before. Money drive right here. Let's get a drag route coming across just in case. Pick up some easy yards. Main coverage. Let's go with Joe. Don't start this with me now, mate. Look, they left this side of the field wide open. Let's go, Kyle. Arnold's dead tired. We can't go to him, man. Let's go, Heath. We definitely need to get some of our stamina back before we continue this drive. There's Gilliam across the middle. He's going to hang on to that one. That is a massive catch. Hurry up, Kyle. All right, they're not pressing, which is a good sign. Let's get Rivera coming across the middle. Copeland with the big snag. They know the run's coming. Let's go! Oh, what? Nah, I don't even have a timeout to challenge that, though. Crazy. There's no way he didn't get that touchdown. There we go. It doesn't even matter. Kyle Arnold's just going to fall in the end zone anyway. Get two people deep. I'm going to jump on Mendoza here. I'm pretty sure Mendoza's got a bit of speed to him. This is it. Hail Mary time. Four verts time. I'm going to throw it deep. Oh, no interception. We should have had an interception. GG to our opponents, Auburn, man. 35 to 31. Kyle Arnold's got to be player of the game. Incredible start to the season, man. Those upgraded stats really showed out today in a big way. But his passing is definitely more accurate. Got a lot more strength showing there with the completion rate. Kyle Arnold, 254 yards and a touchdown. Rushing into things, Kyle Arnold picking up 74 yards and two rushing touchdowns. Jim Gilliam on debut, 52 yards, 4.7 average. And Dan Damian Heath, the backup running back, 3 for 27. So not bad for him at all. He had a touchdown on the day too. Receiving end of things, Barry Copeland, mate, with the only receiving touchdown. Five receptions for 93 yards. Of course, the big step back cheese play. Roy Wills, 4 for 71. He's going to be catching balls all damn year. Nate Foster, our freshman tight end. He's only 66 overall. Imagine that. 3 for 34. Rivero, 2 for 19. Gilliam, 2 for 28. Damian Heath, 1 for 9. Blocking, we did nothing but let in sacks. And on the defensive end of things, Lionel Mendoza, seven total tackles, one TFL, one sack on the day. Adam Brady, our freshman cornerback, second on the team with five. Anton Hopkins with five as well. Jeffrey Prince, how funny is that? He had an interception for 36 yards. This team never intercepts the ball, guys. I cannot emphasize that enough. This team not built like that. They don't do that. Miracles do happen every once in a while, so that was good to see. But yeah, for the most part, we did our thing out there. Slim victory, but it wasn't as hard as say last year taking on you know a ranked 25th team but that being said fellas that is going to wrap up part one of season four of the alaska golden eagles dynasty if you made it this far into the video you are the real mvp i hope the rest of your day is awesome and from me personally i'm out peace I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words Not making any sense